Well, here we are, everyone, and welcome, welcome, welcome to Let's Talk Houston with your host, Dr. J. Lynn Higgs. Welcome, buenos dias, buenas noches, bon yard, bienvenidos, aloha, we, oui, we, oui, we, oui, we, oui, mademoiselle. Come on in, come on in the room. What it come be, what it do, room, what it do, what it do. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious, and how are you? What's up, Houston? Welcome, welcome, welcome. And on our show today, we have a very special guest, Minister Trini Henry. Woo! She will be sharing her story today of how she went from prison to purpose. So if you know someone where you feel this story might help them, go ahead on. Click like, click share, tag your friends, tag your people, tell Lottie Dottie and every dog on body that we are live and in living color. So I'm going to get my phone out. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yes, ma'am. Let's and I'm tag gonna... and share. <laughs> I'm going to click like. I'm going to click share. I click like. I click share, learning how to share. Sharing is caring. That's what they tell me. Sharing is caring. And that's what we want to do. We want to show people that we care by doing what? Learning to share. We must continue to share. Click like, click share, tag your friends, tag your people. Remember, Tell Lottie Dottie and every doggone body that we are live and in living color. And who do we have in the studio with us today? But none other than Minister Trini Henry. Hello, 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 Facebook. Hello, world. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to say to the viewing audience today, Minister Trini? Oh, my gosh. Y'all tag, share. I have some, some exciting... Uh, 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 things to share, some testimonies and some encouraging words to help somebody, somebody, somebody will be touched today. Amen. Amen. And so we just thank God for this opportunity, first of all, but invite your friends, invite those who you think may need to benefit from these encouraging words, because we know that we are living in some trying times, but we know God is still faithful. Oh, Amen. yeah. Amen. I just tell you the truth. Listen, you know how they say all things work together for good for those who love uh, the Lord and who are the call according to his purpose. And so listen, I had a reaction, an allergic reaction to some eyelash glue because I went to a new studio based on a referral from a coworker. And when I got these eyelashes, they began to burn, but I didn't think anything of it. I felt it was going to go away, but little did I know, lo and behold, as time went on, my eyes started to water, started to burn, started to turn red. And they became very irritated. And so I had to end up going to the doctor, you all. And I have these sunglasses on because my eyes are puffy and very much so irritated. But I tell you what, the Lord said that all things work together for good. So I have these sunglasses on, but it's working together because he dropped something in my spirit. The Lord did. He said, don't let anybody stop you from shining you shine on in the name of jesus don't let anybody make you dim your life do you agree with that minister Trey? i do don't let anybody take your shine dim make your light shine even brighter because guess what you <laughs> already know you're gonna have somebody somewhere that's not gonna like you so shine baby shine 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 for the world to see amen, amen. so we thank god for yeah. your eyeglasses you look great <laughs> I must say you look good. You look good. Thank you. And you do too, Minister Tree. You look Amen. good too, honey. So you're going to have to give us some, uh, you know, people are multifaceted. There are many aspects and components and, and a human being is a very intricate, uh, uh, detailed uh, creation. And so what I'm trying to say is, you know, you see a spiritual being, you know, we, we're in a natural body, but we're spirits. But what I'm saying is we have to live here on earth. Uh -huh. But as we live here on earth, we need to address the physical, the spiritual, the mental, the emotional, the financial. So you might have some golden nuggets to share with us about weight loss or eating right. Amen. Even though Amen. you're going to speak to us and testify about yes. some other uh, 
aspects and happenings in your life. Amen. But you know, you can intertwine that too, Minister Henry, okay. since you look so good. You can well, we tell thank us a God few things. We thank God for it. <laughs> All glory be you know, All be glory God. goes to God. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Because every good and perfect gift comes, comes from above. That's right. And so we thank him for that. And I see you as a gift. And Praise I see my God. yes, amen. I see myself as a gift. Yes, so yes, we absolutely. have to learn how to treat our, you know, our temples, our bodies, because they say that they our body is the holy temple. Yeah, the amen. temple of the Holy Spirit. So we have to learn how to eat right, exercise. Although I, I eat exercise, healthy, we have to eat healthy, right? Because I was told, and we have to most importantly, we must rest. Yes, we must rest. We must rest. Yes, we must rest when it's time. That's right. When it's necessary, we uh -huh. must rest. Yeah. Because it helps to build up your immune system exactly. and fight off these sicknesses and diseases that try to attack us. Amen. And fight off COVID and fight off the flu and all these different uh, Greek letters, the uh, you know <laughs> Omicron. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. The Delta uh -huh. and the Omicron and all these old. But we're gonna say Christ over COVID. Amen. That's right. That's Christ we, over yeah, COVID. We're gonna say Christ over COVID. Today. That is what we are saying. We are we touching and agreeing. Amen. Christ over COVID over in the COVID. name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and so basically. I started this podcast because I wanted the people of God and the world to know that in life, you know, we're going to face adversities and we're going to face obstacles, uh, setbacks. You're mm -hmm. going to get derailed. Sometimes you're going to have a plan and it's going to look like the perfect plan, but for whatever reason, life is going to derail you. Sometimes you get thrown a few curveballs. Yeah. You think that you're going to be going left, but you end up going right, or you might think you're going to go up. But you end up going down. But nevertheless, God has put some gifts and some and some incredible uh, supernatural power inside of us that if we if we allow him to mold us and channel this in the right direction, we are able to overcome obstacles, adversities, trials, tribulation, troubles, setbacks, letdowns, disappointments. Mm -hmm. And I want you to know that today that you can use your gifts, your talents, your callings to overcome adversity, setback, disappointments, whatever it is, and help to further the kingdom of God. And so I invite guests on here who can help us to better understand how to take our, you know, when life gives us, us lemons, how to turn them into lemonade. And so I brought Minister Trini on here so she can motivate and encourage us and Amen. tell us about how she has had to use uh her gifts and talents to overcome adversity. But before we get into that, let's talk about Minister Trini a little bit. Here's Minister Trini. And she's sitting here so nice yes. and sweet. <laughs> Minister Trini. <laughs> I love it. So nice but, and sweet, audience. She's sitting here so nice and sweet. And Minister Trini is a licensed social worker. First of all, Minister Trini is a mighty woman of God. Minister Trini is a prayer warrior. Minister uh, Trini is a giant slayer. Minister <laughs> Trini is a demon buster. Min Minister Trini is a force to be reckoned with in My the God. spirit realm. Come on, Minister Trini. My God. Minister Trini <laughs> is a licensed <laughs> social worker. She understands people. Minister yes, Trini yes. is on her way to becoming a certified Christian counselor. Minister Trini is a minister at the Fountain of Praise. Minister Trini is actively involved in the Redeem Prison Ministry at the Fountain of Praise. Okay. And she is on the compassion team uh, for Metamorphosis, which is an international conference headed by our very own pastor, Mia Kay. Right. Mia yes. K. Right. And Minister Trini is with us here in the studio today. I had a general question for before I get into that question that I had. It's been it's been resonating in my spirit. I want to say about my I'm going to start back. I like to reflect on how people got to where they are. I like to go back to your childhood. I like for you to share with us what was it like, you know, growing up as Minister Trini? But you weren't Minister Trini. So what was it growing up as it's little Trini. Trini? As little Trini. Yes. Going to St. Philip Neary, uh -huh. wearing my Catholic uniform. Okay. From kindergarten to the eighth grade, I went to Catholic school at St. Philip Neary on Martin Luther King uh -huh. faithfully. My, my mother would bring us to school daily, me and my brother. 
And uh, I was the only girl, so I was very spoiled after my dad. I right. can say I am a true daddy's girl, if anybody right. can relate. Yeah. Daddy love him some Trini. Whatever yeah. you say I did, I didn't do it to my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so if the nuns came back and gave a bad report, my daddy like denied it to the end. That wasn't my baby talking yeah. in church. Uh -huh. And I always used to get in trouble for talking. So that was a gift at the time that I used to go home. And I used to put line all my Doyles up. Mm -hmm. And so my mother always said I would teach school. Right. And so uh, I went into, you know, when uh, after I finished school, you know, just kind of tapping into mm -hmm. my gifts and doing some teaching at at different like neighborhood centers and stuff. Yeah. But, you know, growing up, I come from a two parent home. Right. Mom and dad. Dad worked very, very hard. My mother was pretty much the housewife. Yeah. Uh, dad was strict. Yeah. Uh, both parents were really strict. Yeah. Uh, but uh we love family and we spent a lot of time with family we spent a lot of time with family and i watched my father labor a lot in prayer yeah and so growing up in a praying home you know sometimes you could grow up in a home where mom is the praying mother but yes. in my case not to say my mother didn't pray but i witnessed my dad faithfully praying and so i thank the lord for that mantle yes. that was truly passed down to me yes praise god um uh, left there mm -hmm. uh i was bad y'all i got uh i wanted to uh i wanted to go after saint philip i wanted to try out public school okay so my mother let me go to welch yes. middle school in southwest houston when welch first opened up so i went to welch met some friends and you know start liking boys and being mm -hmm. fast they used to say i was always fast okay. <laughs> and uh and i was fast but i wasn't really doing nothing just fast just talking and yeah. i always walked with a twist so a lot of people thought that i was twisting but naturally that was just my walk y'all and it still is my walk to this day <laughs> i must admit and so uh oh, it was man. it was interesting growing up i used to get in trouble a lot for talking yeah i always talked in catholic school and the nuns would always uh uh, uh me and tegan i made my best friend rest in peace we uh -huh. would always get in trouble and tegan and jolie because we always liked it to talk in church yeah in church. <laughs> and so uh, we would always get in trouble with the nuns and then they could they could pinch us and whoop us with a paddle and so i always <laughs> got whoopings y'all so i was kind of uh, -huh. uh a little interesting, I'll yeah. say, y'all. Not bad, okay? <laughs> Audience, I wasn't bad. I was a little interesting. You Amen. were interested, yeah. Yeah, getting into a little something, something. Yes. But, uh, yeah, so that was my childhood from there. You uh, went on the Welch. Went on the Welch. From Welch, Welch. I, uh, we went to, I went to Westbury. Went to Westbury. And my mom, and I was like, mama, it's too many of our people not here. And so, uh, <laughs> so I took some paper and I, went to the counselor's office i asked for a transfer oh and trini forged her mother's signature oh. that was interesting that was i wasn't bad y'all i was interesting <laughs> okay audience i forged my mother's signature i wanted to go to sterling high school where i graduated from so yeah. i am a raider okay. a raider is in the building oh on my today goodness. okay okay and so i graduated and uh had a very very exciting years last two three years at sterling we had fun class of 86 was in the mix okay. we are one frankie <laughs> beverly yes 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 all my raiders are y'all in the building <laughs> so that was my life that was my life y'all come up with the comments come up with the comments yeah come on with, i don't even have the comments oh i tell you what i'm enjoying yeah. laughing with you Yes. Let me turn these comments on yes. so we can see what's going so on. So we can see what's going on. <laughs> so you say class of 86 is in the, in the mix. mix. Class of 86 in the mix. Our class song was We Are One. I yes. remember that when you said Frankie Beverly. Yes, yes. Very so, interesting. So it sounds to me like you, you had a fun childhood <laughs> and a fun experience in high school. You know, some people... They were in schools and stuff, but they weren't necessarily having fun all the time. But to me, you were having fun. fun. Look, she's speaking to you. She said, hey, Trini. I had fun and I had boyfriends. You had boyfriends <laughs> at the end. Hey, my she sister. She said, I'm here, sis. My sister, hello. That's Shanita? Shanita, my Shepherd. prison ministry sister. Okay, well, she's letting you know she is here. Yes. So you said class of 86 was in the mix. Yes, so come you, on. Yeah, you said you had, you said where your Raiders at. I don't know where your Raiders are, but I wish they were here. Yeah. And you said that 
you had boyfriends, so you yes. had fun. Yes, fun, 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 fun. Yes, fun, fun, fun. That is that that is beautiful. I just yes. I, I just I, I just like reminiscing with you because it's bringing me such great joy to hear you talk about your heyday and your your you know your roaring twenties or whatever. Your... <laughs> because it, it, it's so exhilarating, I feel it coming yeah. off of you. So yeah. you had a, a happy uh childhood and a happy, I guess your teenage years were happy. Yes. And then so now we're moving on through we've graduated. We've graduated. And after we graduated, where did we go? To Texas Southern. Okay. So Texas Southern, I was partying in the student center. Okay. I was supposed to be in class. So I would go to class sometime, but most of the time I was in the student center because that's where the party was. Okay. okay. So got uh met a young man in the Astrodome when Yates and Sterling was playing in the Astrodome. My goodness. My goodness. Met a young man. Ended up getting married at 19 years old. Hello. Excuse Hello. me. No. I see Hevel Benson is speaking. Hey, what's up? I see you. I'm just acknowledging people because okay, okay. a lot of times I don't read the comments. Yeah. But I, I'm reading them now. I see Hevel Benson. Thank you. So <laughs> good to see you. Yes. Yeah, so uh got married. Got married. So I am now officially thinking I'm grown. So I didn't moved out. You moved out. Moved out. I'm at TSU. Okay. With so I'm with my husband and we just Living, living, living life. We like just living. Golden. We living life like it's gold. Okay. Okay. On a mattress. Okay. <laughs> okay. We just living life. We in love, y'all. We in love. Okay. We in love, and this is real, real <laughs> on here today. Treated. Yeah. So you on a mattress? Did we you on have a mattress. Did you have a box spring? Yeah, we had a box. Spring. Okay, a box okay. spring and a mattress. And a mattress. Okay. You know, we living. Okay, we living. I'm loving it. I'm I'm in love. You I didn't live home. Daddy, mama, I'm grown. Okay. 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 I'm doing my thing. So I'm making all kind of old, terrible. Uh -huh. That's when the decision making just got all out. Okay, you got blurry. You got derailed. I got, a, I got derailed, y'all. Okay. I got derailed. Okay. I had blue vision, baby. Y'all okay. understand about some blue. Have anybody ever had some blue vision yes. in the house today? Oh, okay, yeah. Have you ever been blind? Yes. I okay. I will raise my hand. This is Minister Trini being real okay. this evening. Be yes, real. I've been blind. Okay. Uh, just in love, in you love. know, uh, begin to derail, do some things um, that wasn't of God, you know, mm -hmm. loved God, still praying, but still doing my thing. Yes. So just totally off. Okay. Uh, this focus, mm -hmm. this boggle lady, they all of it. This uh -huh. mm -hmm. Just start making my own decisions and the wrong, wrong decisions. Own decisions, own decisions and, and the wrong hey, decisions. Own decisions and wrong decisions, uh, okay. baby. Uh, that just headed, yeah, just headed for self destruction uh -huh. okay and so um ended up me and him start hustling he uh -huh. was a hustler so okay. you know i was attracting hustlers i don't know if anybody in the house ever attracted men uh -huh. that were hustlers oh but that's that is what that was the uh that was the aroma that i let off at that time hmm. so today you have to be careful about the aroma that you let in the off so i'll ask <laughs> you what you smelling like today oh my wait a minute girl you finna make me <laughs> i'll ask you what you smelling like today <laughs> Uh-huh, because depending on how you smelling is uh -huh. what you're going to track today. Uh -huh. Ooh, okay, depending on so real yeah, sermon. So okay. this is a real sermon. Okay. So come on now. Come on. You got to be smelling it. You got to have that aroma that comes straight from Jesus. So yes. you'll know who to attract. Baby. Oh my god. Yeah, come that's on, true. Come on. That's yeah, true. that's, that's true. true. I'm just talking. Yes. I'm talking real. Me and, real. Uh, yeah, most definitely. Ended up making some decisions. Went to jail. Um, went to jail, me and him. We uh we both hustling, doing our thing. Uh -huh. So by now I didn't have my first son, and I end up going to jail, bonding out. Uh -huh. We hustling, uh -huh. um, and from there just kind of just still hustling, uh -huh. working a job. But me and him hustling, you know, just still doing our thing, so derailing. What was it? This was a uh, eighty eight, eighty nine. Okay, okay. Um, so I didn't got out. I ain't even back in TSU. I just and I just and all the way. Yeah. I'm doing my own thing now. Uh -huh. Parents still paying for it. I'm just, you I didn't derail. Yeah, okay. You, yeah, you derailed. We talked about derailing yeah, earlier. Yeah, we talked about it. Uh -huh. Disappointed them, all of it. Yeah. So, um, ended up having my son. Uh -huh. uh, we we moved to Dallas. Oh. He wanted to go and, and, and meet his dad. Okay. His biological dad. We moved up there. And uh, from there, I experienced a great deal of abuse. Hmm great deal of abuse that's mm -hmm. when the abuse took place um when we got there i ended up getting pregnant with my second child okay so i'm up here in dallas 
in the middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm, we up so. there with his family. Isolated you. Isolated me. Mm-hmm. No phone in the house. Oh. He going to work. I can't work because he don't want me working. Yeah. All the abuse. So I'm suffering mental, emotional, physical, mm. just all of it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and that was the path that the Lord took me down. Mm-hmm. Because when you disobedient, yeah. you will have to go through some things. Yeah. And I was disobedient because again, mm-hmm. Trini was doing Trini thing. I was not following the path that God wanted me to follow at that time. But how many of you know, there's purpose in everything that we go through. Yes, yes. And so I thank God for the purpose. From there, uh, I stuck it out as long as I could. Yeah. And uh, I'm having a, by now I have a son that might be about two or three uh-huh. and a newborn. The abuse just got worse and worse and yeah. worse and worse. Oh. And uh one day I just had enough. Yeah. You know, you have to be sick and tired of uh-huh. being sick and tired. Yes, you do. And everybody's tolerance is different. Uh-huh. And some people can and handle more than others. And I handle quite a bit. I can mm-hmm. honestly say, I tell people I'm not long-winded no more, baby. I'm short-winded. Because at that time I was long-winded, yes. okay? Because I took a whole lot. <laughs> took a whole lot. And uh, one day I just, I prayed, I'm, Lord, I got to get out of this. I just mm-hmm. began to seek God and pray and pray. And um, at that time, I he went to work. Mm-hmm. And... Um, he went to work early in the morning and I packed some clothes. I couldn't really pack a lot because you yeah. had to be real quiet when he sleep where yeah. he wouldn't hear me making any moves. When he mm-hmm. went to work, I'd already made up in my mind I was going down to that pay phone yeah. because he isolated me because he felt that my parents would always bail me out. Yeah. And so that was a trigger for him. Your parents always run into your aid. Yeah. Uh, I'm embarrassed by now. So I'm dealing with the abuse. I'm yeah. dealing with the embarrassment. Because I don't want to tell mom and dad. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So I'm confused. I'm going through so much yeah. trauma, yeah. so much disappointment, just so much. Yeah. I, I didn't rebel. I, just so much, uh-huh. you know, that I was going through. Um, and I had these two babies that yeah. I knew that I had to care for. Yeah. And um, so I ended mm-hmm. up, my, my parents ended up wiring me some money. Mm-hmm. I had my car. Mm-hmm. I packed up all that I could in that car. We stayed on three, we stayed on the third floor. I just started dropping everything down, big bags, mm. put in that little bitty car. I called my little <clears> car a <throat> little egg at the time. I had a Ford for Steve. Mm. Baby, me in that car went to Ace. I got that money mm. and I did not look back. Yeah. I got on that highway from Dallas and came straight to Houston and mm. did not look back back right so in that time i experienced a couple of times going to jail behind my decision making yeah. um come back to houston um he came and found me again mm-hmm. um we went through some physical and by now i didn't got strong because you're not for to touch me mm-hmm. and so you know i fought back now i'm just mm-hmm. like you know hey uh mm-hmm. i ended up uh hanging around you know, make, hang around some friends, mm-hmm. making some wrong decisions that ended up some on probation in the course of all these other cases mm-hmm. and uh, end up getting in trouble again. Right. And this time wasn't no coming out. Mm-hmm. So now you got your two sons that are growing up mm-hmm. and now you are now you are faced with a three year sentence. Mm-hmm. So that was hard. That was very, very hard for me. So what did you do with your sons? My sons went with my mother and father. Okay. So what I did was disrupt their whole life behind my decision making. Yeah, I see what you said. I disrupted their whole life behind my decision making. Mm-hmm. Um, I will never, ever take me going to prison. I will never, ever take that back. I thank God for that journey mm-hmm. because I graduated <clears throat> from there with the highest honors. Yeah, we got degrees and I thank God for degrees, yeah. but that was the one degree that I earned and that I got. Yeah. I thank God for the journey because it has brought me from prison uh-huh. to my purpose. Yeah. I learned a lot being in there. Uh-huh. Um, I call it the pit uh-huh. because in there I felt rejected. Yeah. In there I felt confused. Uh-huh. In there I felt 
of course, being caved in incarceration, I yeah. feel confused. I feel character assassination. I was embarrassed, yeah. shame. Mm -hmm. You got rebellion. You got confusion, anxiety, mm -hmm. worry, and depression because I'm missing family, mm -hmm. loneliness, mm -hmm. shame. Just so many emotions mm -hmm. all over the place yeah. in that place. But I thank God for me being in training camp. That's, mm -hmm. That was my training camp. Yeah, training camp. That was my training camp. And so I thank God at that time that I had to go down that route because today I'm much better, mm -hmm. much wiser, and definitely much purposeful. So I thank the Lord for that. So what did you use to get through those all these feelings? You're saying rebellion, rejection, mm -hmm. embarrassment, confusion, depression, so many. I'll say this, God... Uh, God always promised us one thing, mm -hmm. and I stood on his word, being confident in this very Lord. thing. Uh -huh. Trina, I've begun a good work in you. Praise the Lord. Not and I shall and I will complete it, mm -hmm. even in this place, yeah. even in this place, mm -hmm. even in the pit, even in this prison, even in this jail cell. Mm -hmm. I have begun a good work in you, My and God. I will complete it. Yes. I may not complete it in here, yes. but I am going to complete it. And so I had to hold on to God's work. Yes. I had to hold on, I'm sorry, to God's word yes. because I knew mm -hmm. it was the pruning. Uh -huh. It was the process while I was in there. I was being processed yes. while I was in there. And so I thanked him. It's just like David. David just didn't wake up and become king. Right. David had to go through a process, okay. you know, and so... I just thank God for my process. Uh -huh. I, I do um, because I, I look at it like it was purposeful. Yeah. You know, it was purposeful. And I think about uh, and I stayed on my knees. I stayed praying. Uh -huh. I got closer to God. Yeah. That's how I was able to overcome all of the emotions yeah. that was tied into everything. I developed a prayer life like no other. Yeah. I feel like as you were speaking, I just in my spirit about you were in a physical prison but people are in prisons in their mm, everyday life my god you can be in a prison in your mind you can be in a prison in your finances mm. you can be in a prison in your marriage my you can be crying out Come for on. help you sitting up on a job and you about to explode and people don't even know it. you're a time bomb chicken mm. but you are in prison because the enemy he can shackle and make you know wrong look right and yes. right look wrong and like you're talking about these aromas and drawing up these old negative spirits and all kind of stuff because, you know, he wants to assassinate you and annihilate you. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and, I'll, say, and I'll say this. Uh, a lot of times, I'm so glad you brought that up because the one thing I know is you can be, you could be out here, but in prison in your mind. Because yes. sometimes you can put up a mask. Uh -huh. Ooh, you can put up a mask. A mask. And the mask could be the Mac makeup. Yes. The mask could be the Gucci. Yes. The mask could be the Chanel. Yes. The mask could be Fendi. Yes. The mask could be all the designer wear. Yes. You know, hiding behind a concealer. Yes. Hiding behind a lip. Mask off. And that's what God wants us to all do. Right. God wants us off. to get take it off. Yes. Get free. Because get free. the Bible says whom the sun sets free mm -hmm. is free indeed. Yes. And so we got to get out the prison. <laughs> yes. Sometimes we're in prison because you're in bondage in yes. your own home. Your own you're home. in shackles. Mm -hmm. You're being held by strongholds. Yes. And baby, when you get up, when when you when you break have free. a stronghold yes. and you got it on you so mm -hmm. hard, but when you break free, break that free. is when God can do a great work yes. when you break free. Yes. And I'm a witness to that. When you break free from all of that, God can use you in such a, but you have to be able to expose it. It has yes. to come from exposing it all. Get, get naked and yeah. get naked. Let it go. That's a covers I want. <laughs> get naked. And you can prove it. Get yes. naked. Get naked. <laughs> Before get the Lord, naked. fall prostrate, you got to expose yourself. You're right. Yes. You yes. got to let him. You know, I heard years ago, somebody was talking about um, drawing an analogy of your life, uh, like liking it to the layout of your house. You know how when you <clears throat> enter your house or whatever in the beginning, I mean, in the front of the house is the den or the living room or the sitting area, whatever, mm -hmm. how you keep everything nice or whatever. And yeah. you know how as you maybe start going to the back, like the kitchen is always in the back mm -hmm. or you might have a guest restroom that you keep clean and then you might have another one that you use that you don't always. But <clears throat> my point was how you allow God into certain rooms in your life. Mm -hmm. Like, come on in the living room, Lord. Like I yeah. got that kind of straight. Come on yeah. in that, that straight. 
But oh, uh, please don't go yeah, in the don't, kitchen don't, right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was thinking when you said exposing. Yeah, exposing. Yeah, mm. yeah. And you and, know, and it's so up, important when you talked about getting your hair. That's I'm talking about. You know how they call the, the, the kitchen? That, that's the kitchen. kitchen. And you didn't want everybody in the kitchen. Yeah, because the BDBs and stuff uh -huh. was in the kitchen. Yeah. I'm saying you don't have to invite God. Yeah, you got to invite meeting. God. In. Come on in, God. Come on invite in. Invite him into every area every of area. your life. That's and when right. I say every area, I mean even the even the places that you're hiding from your friends. The places that you don't want. That, that, that hidden place that you've been hurt at, that you've yeah. been wounded in. So what you're doing is with that particular wound, yeah. I'm going to put a Band-Aid right here, right. sister. Yeah. It's not healed no. yet, uh -uh. but I'm going to put a Band-Aid on it. Now heal, because that's the only way God can use us when we heal. Yeah. When we could go back to that thing that hurt us. Yes. We could go back and we can face that thing. Yeah. We know we healed. You yeah. know, I don't know about y'all, but I'm so grateful that every morning, that when I rise and put these two feet on the side of the bed, the mm. devil is so pissed off at me. Oh, she up again. Yes. Yeah, this demon slayer up. Yes. Because guess what I'm letting you know? You will not trespass in this house. Yes. You will not trespass in nobody's house that's yes. in my circle. That's because right. we have to be able to take possession over our, over, over what we are to have dominion over. Uh -huh. And what did he say in Genesis? I gave you dominion yes. to rule. Yes. So us as sisters. We got dominion to rule. Right. So we don't have to back down when the enemy when the enemy comes in. Right. We don't have to back down when nobody when we're faced with advertisements. Yes. Now we face it head on because he already said he gave us the authority, the authority and the power yes. to call those things out as though they're not. And yes. so yes, yes, he gave yes. us that. So we walk into that authority. Yes, we have to cast out, you know, strong imagination. Mm. Every high thing that exalted so itself. Against the we gotta knowledge. cast these things down. Everything. We gotta plead the blood. Every single day. We have to day. pray. Amen. Amen. Without ceasing. Mm. No wonder he said pray without ceasing. Because mm. there's power in prayer. Mm. That's how, that's why I was going to ask you okay. about overcoming Pain. the weapons and Warfare. what do you use? What do you say to a person that's watching that says, I'm in prison, Trini. I, you know, and it's kind of like, you know how you said earlier, I didn't want to tell my mother. I didn't want to tell... Mm. The people closest to you that you love, you don't want to involve them at first, mm -hmm. you know, because you don't want to tell them that, hey, I'm going through this. That happened to me, too. You know, I was married and my husband got on drugs, different things. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to involve my family because you know how your family loves you and cares for you. Mm -hmm. And I said, the moment I involve them, things getting ready, it's getting ready to go down. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> and I know, it's, yeah. they, you know, so, they're you not nothing wanna, to so yeah. hey, let God, come yeah. on, come on, Jesus, me and yeah. you, let's try to work this thing out because yeah. I don't want to go tell those people. Cause, 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 see, they gonna see me like they little baby girl, and it's gonna get, it's gonna, it's gonna get ugly. It's, it's gonna get ugly. It's gonna get a ruckus, and mm -hmm. it's gonna be a shaking, and 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 a, and a an awakening, and everything. <laughs> you know. So, so, so what I'm saying is, mm -hmm. to a person that's crying out for help, mm -hmm. and they want to know some steps, some strategies of how to get out of that place. I will say this: you have to develop a prayer life like no other. Yeah. But I will say this: your position, what does your posture look like? What does your posture look like? Posture. What does your prayer life look like? Yeah. I don't know about you, but my posture is on my knees because yeah. I need to be able to hear God's voice yeah. because that's the voice in this hour, in this season that mm -hmm. we need to follow. That's the first thing is being in your posture where you can hear from God. Uh -huh. Being very, very prayerful, developing a prayer life. And it's not a special way that we go to God. Baby, mm -hmm. go to God like you communicating with a sister or a brother. Because mm -hmm. guess what? He's our Father. He's everywhere at all times. We got access to him, baby. Yeah, yeah. He's waiting to hear from us. Because yeah. he's available for us. And so I would say definitely develop you a prayer life. Mm -hmm. Have your position, be in position and yes. stay in position. Yes. I'll say that again. Yes. Be in position and stay in position. Right. I'll ask you, what does your posture look like? I don't know. It's a song that I love to hear. This is how I fight my battles. Uh -huh. See, some battles you got to fight on your knees. Some yes. things that you're going through, what I'll say to someone that's going through something, Fight on your knees. What does your posture look like, baby? Your posture may have to be laying out and prostrating before God. Yeah. Whatever your posture might be on the side of your bed. Yeah. Your posture might be in your bed. I don't know what your posture look like. Right. However, you got to hear God's voice clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you got to get away from everything and everybody where you could totally hear the voice of God. Yeah. Totally hear from God. Then he can prepare. He can prepare us as he prepared me, yeah. you know, for the next journey of when he spoke to me. Mm -hmm. Right in the prison cell. Right in the prison cell. Right in the prison cell. He spoke to me and he said, You are to open up 
a transitional home for women. Yeah. Tell us about that. <clears throat> so when he said open it up, I'm in prison, mm -hmm. but I wrote down everything, every detail. So it's important when, when, he, when he talks to us in Habakkuk, what did he tell us? Right he said, vision. write the vision. He said, make it plain, put it on, put it on some paper, baby, uh -huh. put it on a tablet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he said th they, that you may run with it, run. read it uh -huh. for the vision is yet for appointed time. Uh -huh. See, that's the, key. that's the key. The vision is for an appointed time. Uh -huh. Sometimes we want to move before God, but he said the vision is for an appointed time. So uh -huh. if we're in God's timing, uh -huh. then we know that's the appointed time. He said, but at the end, he said, sometimes though it'll tarry. You yeah. might have to wait for a minute, but uh -huh. it will come to pass. And so with me, I wrote, I wrote everything, every detail. When God gives you something for my, for the people, for my dream, for uh -huh. those that are dreaming, for, for those that God gave you something to yeah. do, a book, um, uh -huh. a business to open up. Yeah. What I'll say is write everything down on paper, detail from detail. People may think you crazy. Walk around with your pad. When he downloads something to you, write it down detail from detail so you won't forget everything because everything is for God's glory anyway. Mm -hmm. And so you want to make sure that you, every detail, every witty idea that God gives you, yes. that you write that down. And I did just that in prison. And when I came home, mm -hmm. I was stagnant. I was stagnant. I'm sure. It I was, was a stagnant. major transition. Yes, it was. Okay. It so took I, some time to adjust. It took some time to adjust. But I hear this in my spirit. You got to stay in position mm -hmm. despite the opposition. My God. Uh, stay in position uh -huh. despite the opposition. And so I was I was full of opposition. Now. I know you were. Yeah. But I had to stay in position. You had to stay in position. I had to stay in position. Uh -huh. I had to stay prostrate before God mm -hmm. so that this so that this vision yes. could come to pass yes. at its appointed time. Yes. At at God's appointed, God's time. appointed time. And not not man, yeah. God's appointed time. Mm -hmm. And so I uh I I will say this when God gives us something, it's important that we write every detail, mm -hmm. everything that he gives us. Right. Write it down. Wow. Yes. Write it, down. write it down. So I was pregnant there you go with this promise. Pregnant with this promise. With this promise. So you had to with this baby called Life, Hope, and Change. Uh -huh. Few years. Few years. Mm -hmm. So that means that I went into overdue season. Okay. Okay. I went into overdue with this baby. Mm -hmm. And the overdue came from the clogging. That's my question. Uh huh. What is clogging your sink? So what was clogging my sink for life, hope, and change was the spirit of fear. Hmm. I will honestly say when God gave me life, hope, and change, it was too big for Trini's eyes. Amen. Trini's eyes, okay. I couldn't see what the Lord seen, but again, we can't see what he's seen. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, uh, I heard something say, Dorinda Clark has a song, you got to see it. Yeah. Before you see, see it, it. Yeah. see, I needed to see life and hope and change, life, hope and change before I seen it. And so I thank the Lord that I seen it before I seen it. Uh -huh. um, but I was stagnant because I say, Lord, here I am, a single mother, just coming home, working these jobs. Where am I going to get mm -hmm. this money? And I'm being very real. So I pray that I can help someone that is trying to is struggling with this 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 vision that god gave you you don't know how it's going to come to pass yeah. i will tell you today it shall i declare decree and proclaim that it shall and it will, it will. come to pass at its appointed time at its appointed time, at its appointed time. Yeah. and so i was i was fearful i didn't know where the money was going to come from mm -hmm. god said I've gave you a vision mm -hmm. and I will make provision. And I heard that so clearly. That's right. I've gave you a vision, so I'll make provision. So God began to introduce me to people. Mm -hmm. Dr. Lynn, that just began to give me insight, began yes. to give me insight, began mm -hmm. to pour into me, began to give me beds. God just began to open up the resources. Mm -hmm. But again, I had to step out. Mm -hmm. So I had to get out the boat. Yes. You know, I was, I, I was, I was like Peter. Okay. okay, I seen the water. Okay. I, it, I, it was too deep, uh, Minister Jamie. I did not want to get out. Okay, I did not want to get out. Thank you for joining. I did not want to get out. I thought I was going to drown. Okay, okay. okay. But 
I got out the boat. Mm-hmm. I got enough faith. God began to begin to nudge, nudge, nudge. Mm-hmm. And I got out the boat. Mm-hmm. And guess what? Life, hope, and change uh, came into effect in 2016. Uh, mm-hmm. I opened the doors. And we thank God that I was able to house mm, over 50 women. Oh, and uh, out of that, maybe three or four only returned. Everyone else was successful. Uh-huh. I am still in touch with a lot of different women. Uh-huh. I am currently now, God has me looking for property for both men and women. Yeah. And so we're believing, we're declaring and decreeing in 2021, by the end of this year, that mm-hmm. we will be up running. Yes, running I, and moving, and so we thank the Lord for yes, that. Do. I pray that you know God. I pray that God will put destiny helpers, you know, in your path. Like Amen. Purpose pushers. Purpose path. pushers. Come you on need, now. Yeah, you need you need people to speak life. Yes. Into your situation. Yes, you know? and that's what exactly what He's going to bring. And yes. it's important that we understand that we can't do everything by ourselves. We right. have to have some some people with us. Some and not we have to have some people that have vision like yes. we have. Thank you, yes. Holy Spirit. Yes. We have to have people that have clear vision like we have. Yes. We cannot have dream killers on our team. My God. Dream yes. killers are dream stealers. <laughs> and so we thank the Lord that we got people that That's have right. vision. <coughs> Excuse dream me. Yes. Yeah, dream that we killers. like, we have vision that have vision like we have vision. Yes. Amen. You don't want anybody to. Again, that's time talking about dimming your light. Yes, You're yes. We shining for Jesus. We shining for and Jesus, and this is all for purpose for Jesus. So yes. these men and women, we thank the Lord will mm-hmm. definitely come out, and we're able to offer different programs and um, mm-hmm. different programs for them that are life changing, that are life altering. We will definitely be offering them definitely a new life, yes. definitely some more uh, hope, mm-hmm. and definitely. Um, transformation shall take place Ooh, and so we thank we thank the lord for that uh the bible tells us you know for the thoughts and the plans that he has for each and every one of us the thoughts uh mm-hmm. to give us a future and a hope and so we thank the lord that um uh, that, that that is just what he's doing in each and every one of our lives in church, jeremiah 29 and 11 yeah. no matter what it looks like you know we're still successful and we're still we're still moving and shaking in yeah. this season yeah <laughs> tell us some of your favorite scriptures that get get you through Mm. Philippians 4.13, uh, I do not allow anyone in my home to say I can't at all okay. because the Bible says I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Yes. And so we thank God. Uh, what I love also is forgetting those things which mm. are behind. Yes. OK, so I don't I don't think about no. prison. No. I don't think about my past. No. I don't think about my past mistakes. Mm-mm. I'm looking towards the mark and I'm pressing towards the mark of the high calling. Yes. So I've left those Ooh. things behind. And yes. so it's important that people don't, oh, I remember when you did this and did uh-huh. that. Baby, we had a funeral for her a long time ago. You okay. just wasn't invited. Yes. Okay. You, we had a funeral for her. This is a new girl. Uh-huh. This is a new creation. God said, old things uh, pass. have passed away. Yes. You know, he said, I'm doing a new thing, Isaiah 43 and 18 and 19. And so he's doing a new thing. So it's so important that we hang around people that can push us to our next destiny. That can push us, you know, it's purpose, purpose, purpose for people in our lives and not people that are just around draining and draining and draining and taking and taking Uh baby deposit where's the deposit at today sifting you know sifting oh my god and so we just thank god for the movers and shakers for the for people that are in our life that are producing good fruit yeah you know and so we thank god for that jeremiah 29 and 11 Mm -hmm. i love it um habeka i love it um, I know God is doing a new and a good thing in each and every one of our lives. And so we stand on God's word. Um, Speak, Jeremiah, because some people might not know. Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, mm-hmm. towards you, says the Lord. Yes. Thoughts of peace, mm-hmm. thoughts of peace. So when the chaos and confusion is going on, uh-huh. he said, I gave you thoughts of peace, not of evil. Uh-huh to give you a future and a hope. And so we thank God that when chaos and confusion, because the Bible tells us trouble shall come our way. Mm -hmm. He said trouble will come, but he said count it all joy when we go through trials and tribulations. So even in the midst of me being in the pit, he brought me to promise because when I came home, I began to move and shake and I began to understand my purpose. I began to know that I had to go through some things, but once once I got up, I started moving and shaking and I did not look back. And so I don't take anything from divorce. I don't take anything 
I just took off all those layers. I just mm -hmm. took off all those layers. Mm -hmm. I peeled them all off. Laid every... <laughs> I laid aside every weight yeah. that was besetting me, every yes. weight that was too heavy for me. I laid mm -hmm. it aside. And so today, what I will say for those who like to pack a lot of things in your purse, My goodness. <laughs> pack light, baby, in this season. Pack yeah. light. Get you something and pack real light. Be careful what you put in your bag and be careful who, what, what you allow to go in your bag. Mm -hmm. Be careful what you allow your earlobes to hear because sometimes mm -hmm. if you're hearing too much, yeah. that those spirits begin to fall on you. So uh, what was in this season, we're to protect our peace yeah. at all costs. Portals. You know, protect your portals at yeah. all costs. Protect your ear gates yeah. at yeah. all costs. Yeah. If they're not building you up, then yeah. don't allow them to tear you down. Mm -hmm. So we speak life. The Bible tells us as sisters, yeah. I am to encourage Dr. Yeah. Lynn. Dr. Yeah. Lynn is to encourage me on yeah. this journey. Right. You know, that's what the Bible says. We're yeah. to build one another up. We're not right. here to tear each other down. Right. We're not in competition with one another. No, you shine, I shine. Right. I shine, you shine. Right. You win, I win. Yes. You know, that's how it goes. We both are victorious mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus in Christ. because we're serving the, the most, same God. The same God. And we're kingdom building. Mm -hmm. And so we thank the Lord for that. We do. We thank God for that. We don't take anything for granted. But I thank God for the pit. Because now I'm walking in my promise. Yeah. And so we thank God for that. I don't hold nothing back. Mm -mm. I'm real. You real. And ratchet. Oh. But I love the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> now, y'all. <gasps> We in our preparation time. Goodness. We in our preparation time. Mm. We real and you we, we're in our preparation we're in time. Because now time. guess what? What? Performance, here we come. <laughs> Performance, here we come. Here Let's we go, y'all. Trini. Yes. Minister Trini. So how do you handle haters for a sensitive person? <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Come here on. Okay, tell me. I'm just saying for somebody sensitive, okay, and they tuck tail and run. You know how you 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 got a made up mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, you didn't wrote the vision. Okay, you didn't made it plain. Okay, you didn't prayed over it. Yes, ma'am. You didn't fell out in the floor. Oh Jesus! You didn't rolled around on the floor. Come on. You didn't sweat it. Mm -hmm. You didn't got your tambourine out at home, yeah. and you didn't dance. Yeah. All right, and you feeling the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh huh. Then you go out there. Okay. And you try to execute your plan. Okay. And then you hit roadblocks you hear walls you mm -hmm. hit opposition and mm -hmm. some people instead of praying and casting them out into the sea or fasting on these walls they just give up and say you know what lord i'm just you know they just turn around and they just throw in the towel uh, <laughs> they just throw in the towel i'm they, done yeah they i'm don't. done they don't. i'm done uh -huh. so for someone like that what i'll say is so important because i'm gonna be honest with you okay it's a lot of people that give up Let's just be honest. It's a lot of people that hide, that mask. It's a lot of people that's dealing right now with the spirit of suicide. True. It's a lot of people right now that has gave up. True. Don't want to throw in the towel because somebody didn't hurt them. Yeah. Somebody didn't said something and just tore their spirit all the way up. And yeah. now they think they ain't worthy. What I'll say to them is you have to understand mm -hmm. that you're fearful and wonderfully made Amen. in God's image. What I'll say to you is it's so important that you hang around people. Uh-huh again that can speak life yeah. into your life when you're going through mm. because it's times when if we real it's times when we not always a hundred percent yeah you know it's times when we get knocked down yeah you know but you got to stay in the ring baby you yeah. got to ball your fists up baby uh -huh. and when them oppositions come your way you got to just keep throwing punches baby uh -huh. and sometimes you got to throw a punch and you may be crying but you got to keep throwing them punches because uh -huh. the troubles are going to come but you just got to stand when all you can do, do uh -huh. you just got to Stand. You got hey. to stand on God's word. So it's so important that we meditate on God's word and we know who we are. Most importantly, we know whose we are. Thank you, thank you, First Lady Katrina, for joining. I love you. I love yeah. you. I love you. Thank you. Um, but we got to stand because it's gonna be times when we get knocked down. But what I will say to you, baby, is stay in the ring. Uh -huh. Stay in the ring and don't let nobody, nobody take your shine because everybody ain't going where you're going, right. and you can't take everybody with you. And you it's know. okay. And some journeys you got to walk alone. It's okay. Some journeys we're going to have to walk alone. Uh -huh. And it's okay. It's okay to walk alone. Okay. Because you know God has begun a good work in you. He didn't already said it. Uh -huh. So he will complete what he started, baby. Yeah. He don't start something and not finish. That's right. <laughs> what he started, uh -huh. he finished. Yes, he is a finisher. Huh. 
and he finishes strong. And so our job is women of God. Mm -hmm. Our job is men as head of the house. That's right. We're to finish strong in, in this, this race. race. We're to finish strong in this race. That's right. We're to finish strong. He is the alpha and the omega. Yes, he is. The beginning and the end. So Come if on. you think about it, he has to finish. Mm -hmm. Because... <laughs> He finished it on the cross. Yeah, he finished it yeah. over 2,000 years ago. Yes, amen. Yeah. Amen. And we thank him for that. Today, we have life and life more abundantly. He promised us that. Mm -hmm. And so even when we go through trials, even when we turn on the news, even when mm -hmm. we're faced with different things, yeah. we have to stay prayed up. We have to stay prayed up for our families. We have up. to stay prayed up for our children. We have to stay prayed up for the nation. Yeah. We have to stay prayed up for the community. Mm -hmm. We have to stay prayed up. We have to stay prayed up. And before we definitely end, we definitely going to pray because somebody on on somebody this evening need to hear a word. Yeah. Somebody needs somebody going through today that may be masking. Uh -huh. Take the mask off, baby. Get naked. It's okay. It's okay. God is here. God he wants here. us to expose us so he can deal with that thing. But he mm -hmm. can't deal with it if we hide. That's right. If we hide, he can't deal with nothing. Right. But let go. So you can be set free, so you can walk in your potential, so you can walk in your promise. Right. So with that so being you feel said, led to, you feel led to pray, Minister Trees? I do, I do. Because I do. you said we we're going to pray. Yes, That's absolutely. Right. Well, we want we want to build up faith. We want to build up God-given confidence. Amen. We want to build up hope. You know, we want to uh, impart love, Amen. caring, compassion, understanding. Yes. So, yeah, if you feel led to pray, you're welcome to pray. Yes, and definitely I will say this. For viewers mm -hmm. that may have not been in prison, but may have been in prison in your mind, mm -hmm. what I'll say is today, get free, baby. Get free. Yeah, get free. Because I had to get free. Mm -hmm. Get free so God can use you in a mighty, mighty way. Get free. Let go of the shackles. Mm -hmm. Get out of prison. Because sometimes we can be in prison in our own mind. Yeah. Get free so that God can use you. Because God wants to use us. And everybody have their own gifts. Everybody have their own talents. But one thing I know, your gift shall make room for you. So don't let anybody dim your light. Mm -hmm. No, Shine, baby. Shine, shine. baby. Shine. Yes. Because that is, we are the light of the world. Mm -hmm. We are the salt of the earth. That's what the word says. Yes. And so we are God's apple of his eye. Mm -hmm. And so we thank God for that. So I'll say to a mother, a mother or father who maybe have an incarcerated son, incarcerated daughter, mm -hmm. don't give up. Don't throw in the towel because your blessing, just because they're in prison, don't mean that God cannot use them and cannot transform their mm -hmm. life right in that jail. He did it for me yeah. in that prison. I know he could do it for <clears throat> your loved one. Yeah. So don't give up. Don't throw in the towel on them. You pray for them. And most importantly, you be their emotional support because that is what they need. Yeah. And so with that being said, we're going to go to God in prayer. Anything yeah. else, Dr. Lynn? No, I just want to say thank you so much for joining us on today with Let's Talk Houston with your host, Dr. J. Lynn Hicks. I am sure the people today were encouraged. Amen. And I'm sure that through your testimonies and your golden nuggets, that they were able to see how to use their gifts, talents to overcome obstacles and adversities to further the cause of the kingdom. Amen. With that being said, don't forget, stay in position, stay in position, stay prepared, stay prepared. And guess what? It's now performance time. Let's go. Amen. Father, we just thank you for this opportunity on today. Father, we give you the glory and we give you the honor that is so due to you, Father. Yes. We thank you, oh God, for being Abba, Father. We thank you, oh God, for being our advocate. Father, we thank you on today, God. We thank you for waking us up and starting us on our way. Yes. Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy, Father. Yes. We thank you for your love and kindness towards us, Father. Yes. We pray now, God, that if it's anything that we did or even said or thought, mm -hmm. God, that was not pleasing to you. Mm -hmm. Father, we ask that you forgive us, creating us a clean heart, Lord, and renewing us a right spirit. Yes. Father, I pray right now, someone on the on this on this on this viewing line, God, may be going through a trying time, Father. But Father, we thank you because you're our Father. You're always near to them, God. Yes. You said, Oh God, be strong in the Lord. So, yes. Father, I pray now that no matter what obstacles they face, they uh -huh. shall be strong in the Lord, oh yes, Father God, uh -huh. in the power of your might. Yes. God, someone, Lord God, are dealing with the bereaved, Lord God, with the bereavement. But Father, you 
said that you will bind up, Lord God, every wound that they cry. Mm. You would you would heal their broken heart, God. You will be near to those that are broken heart. And so, Father, we pray now, God, that you're near to those that are dealing with, Lord mm. God, bereavement on this evening. Mm. Father, we pray now for marriage couples, God. Mm. We pray now, oh God, that father, that 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 husband will love their wives, God, mm. and wives, Lord God, will love their husbands in return. Father, we pray for every single woman like myself, oh Father, mm. that we stay in position, Father God, that we yeah. wait, Lord God, that you can continue, God, to renew our strength, oh Father. We wait upon you, God. We wait, Lord God, until you bring us, Lord God, our husband, Father. But we pray, God, while we're waiting, we're not wasting, God. Yeah. But we're about our Father's business while yeah. we're waiting, God. Yeah. And so, God, we thank you. We pray now, oh God, for that wayward child on today, Father. Yeah. We pray now, Lord God, that they may have went away, Lord God, and went astray, God. But let the parent, Lord God, open them up with open arms, God, just as Jesus opened his arms up for us, God, and we ran away, God. We pray now, oh God, for children, God. We pray now for a rebellious child, God, that they will not be rebellious no more, Father, mm. but we pray now, Lord God, that homes, Lord God, that children, Lord God, will come at the subjection, Father God, yes. and will obey mothers and fathers right now, God. Mm. We pray now, God, for our grandchildren, God. So mm. many times yes. we're turning on the news, God, and children are losing their lives, Lord God, yes. to straight yes. bullets, God. Yes. We pray right now, God, mm. that our grandchildren are covered with the blood of Jesus, yes. Father. We pray now, God, for the nation, God, we yeah. pray now, Father God, that the nation, Lord God, will come under subjection, God, and we will, Lord God, be as one united nation, yeah. Father. Yeah. We pray now, God, that we walk in harmony and love and peace, God. We pray now, oh God, for the pastors, God, and first ladies, Father. We pray now that they continue to be about their kingdom work, Lord God. Yeah. Let them not be about titles, God, but God, yeah. we pray now, oh God, that you will get the glory out of their life, Father. Yeah. We pray now, God, that you have taken me, Lord God, yeah. from the pit to the promise, God, but God, we pray now, God, that you continue to use me in a mighty, mighty way. God, we yeah. pray now for the radio station. We pray now, God, for Dr. Lynn, God, that you'll take her to yeah. deeper depths. We declare, decree, and proclaim, oh God, that the best is yet to come for her, God. She has not even touched the surface, God, on what you're about to do in her life and through her, God. And so, Father, we thank you. We thank you now, God for everything you've done. Yes. We thank you now, God, that eyes have not seen and that ears have not heard all the wonderful things that you have each in store for each and every one of us. We thank you for the viewers. Mm -hmm. We thank you, oh God, that something was said that can change someone's life on today. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. And it is in Jesus' name that we seal these prayers. And by faith, it is done and it is so. Amen, amen, amen and amen. Amen. What a remarkable prayer. I tell you what, I certainly enjoy it this show on tonight spending uh, our time with our very special guest Praise minister God. trini henry we had an up close and personal conversation as we discussed and we 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 dug in to find out how you went from prison to purpose and like you were saying you know you got to stay in position uh, despite the opposition, Amen. Because in prison, you say that's where God developed you. Yes, and you know my character, your character, <laughs> everything. Everything yes. you say, you wouldn't take yes. nothing, you know, for your journey now. Mm -hmm. And I just process. Yeah, the process. And I, I just keep hearing in my spirit that part about what are you smelling like? Yes, what are you smelling like? What is your aroma? What, what are you smelling aroma? like? I want my aroma to be sweet you before know. the Lord. Yes, I because, want my aroma to be sweet. Yeah. Because at one time it wasn't. And so I thank the Lord that my aroma is so sweet now. Yes. Amen. The fragrance is so is so soft. Yes. Yes. And beautiful. Amen. And so I just want to say to everyone, it is my hope that you enjoyed the show, that you were touched, that you were inspired. And I want to say to you, good night, Arriva Dolce, buenas noches. Have a fantastic night. <laughs> you know, I love you. Peace. You know what I'm saying? A bon appetit. <laughs> I always say bon, bon appetit. If you want to eat, you go right ahead on. But I don't eat this late. But I'm saying as in bon appetit, as in goodbye, farewell, arriva dolce, bon voyage. Let me sing my song. I'm so glad we had this time, time together. together. Mr. Tree sing <laughs> Just to have a laugh or, or sing, sing a, a song. song. Seems we just get started. And before you know it, comes a time we have to say so, so long. long. Good night. Good night. Love you. Peace. Toodles. <laughs> and we're out.